Let us teach the New Testament. First Epistle of John. Lesson 8, 1 John 3, verses 19 through 24. In this eighth of 15 lessons on the New Testament book of 1 John, we shall deal with these 10 topics. By this we shall know that we are of the truth, and reassure our heart before him. For whenever our heart condemns us, God is greater than our heart, and he knows everything. Beloved, if our heart does not condemn us, we have confidence before God, and whatever we ask we receive from him, because we keep his commandments and do what pleases him. And this is his commandment, that we believe in the name of his Son Jesus Christ and love one another, just as he has commanded us. Whoever keeps his commandments abides in God, and God in him. And by this we know that he abides in us, by the Spirit whom he has given us. Besides minor differences of word order, which hardly matter in Greek, existent Greek manuscripts contain the following variant readings. In verse 19, from the 4th century, some manuscripts omit and from the beginning of the verse. In verse 21, one manuscript reads brothers instead of beloved. A few manuscripts have condemn in the indicative mood instead of the subjunctive mood. And three manuscripts read it has instead of we have. In verse 23, again from the 4th century, some manuscripts have we believe in the present tense instead of the aorist tense. In your teaching, you may wish to draw parallels from the Gospel of John. By our present analysis, 319 begins the third major section of 1 John dealing with five great themes of Christian faith. In 19 through 24, we deal with how Christians gain assurance before God. Confidence is a state of boldness, courage, fearlessness, especially in the presence of persons of high rank or in relation to God. In the Bible, the term name often refers to something real, a piece of the very nature of the personality whom it designates, expressing one's qualities and powers. The name appears almost as the representation of the Godhead, as a tangible manifestation of the divine nature. To reassure is to conciliate, pacify, set at ease, or put at rest. All who belong to God possess or receive His Spirit and hence have a share in God's life. This Spirit also serves to distinguish Christians from all unbelievers. Greek has separate verbal forms for the active, middle, and passive voices. Most languages have an active voice, John loves others, Many languages have no passive voice, 
John is loved by others, and a few, like Greek, have a middle voice. John loves himself. John frequently employs two verbs meaning to know, usually in the active voice. We know him, we know that. Download from onejohn.cura.download Lesson 3, What Christians Know. In 1 John 3.19, the verb we shall know occurs in the future tense and middle voice. The future implies that this knowledge depends on confidence before God, and the middle voice makes it an intensely personal experience. We shall know for certain, or know for ourselves. Ask the Holy Spirit to show you teachable ideas and summaries from the passage. In small gatherings, let others help each other find these in their Bibles. For example, five points on Christian salvation, seven points on Christian experience, seven traits of God himself, three points on the Holy Trinity, and three points on confidence before God. If need be, review with learners these two historical Christian doctrines. Explain how the only eternal God has revealed that he exists as three equal persons or powers that the Bible calls the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Explain that God grants to Christians confidence that they have eternal life and will live with Jesus Christ forever. In small gatherings, after someone or several have read or recited 1 John 3, 19-24, pose queries such as these and let anyone reply. What have you learned from this passage about God? about confidence before God, about prayer. Whilst preaching or teaching, recommend ways in which to apply the passage. For example, review seven basic commandments of Jesus. Invite everyone to admit to God their bad memories and anything that troubles their conscience, asking him to forgive them and to restore their confidence before him. Invite non-Christians to put their trust in Jesus Christ, the Son of God, asking God to give them his Holy Spirit. Remind Christians that God wants us to choose to show love for fellow Christians by helping the needy and by forgiving Christians who may have offended us. Download documents for this lesson at onejohn.cura.download. Read five times 1 John 4, 1-6 before you view the next video lesson.